Okay, there we go. Let's begin. Test, test, test. Okay. Okay, so we've had our second presentation today, and I'm going to give everyone the little score sheet. This is not so important, but just give you some feedback. So we're going to look at the presentations one by one. And first on our list is Amazon. So let me get up our information here. Presentation class. Okay. Let me see if I can play this. I think I gotta reverse it first a little bit. Okay, here we go. Alright, I wanna get just the place where you just begin. So let's see if I can do that here. It's hard to control. Okay. Friends of Get back here. Okay. Welcome to the 2013 Financial Conference of Avalon Company. Today, we are going to take up and tackle the financial results of this Fortune 100 company. Okay, I think you're very positive. That's your in good year, point. In the year 2012, in its first quarter, Amazon had a cash flow of 1,152 million U.S. dollars, while on the other hand, it shifted downwards to 85% in the first quarter of 2013, having a free cash flow of 177 million US dollars. On the other hand, for efficiency... Okay, Marie's transitions are quite good. On the other hand, next, I want to show you, I want to tell you something. So today we're going to look more at these kinds of transitions, and I think Marie does a very good job of, of that. Okay? At the beginning, though, the weakness is I don't think you made your beginning very, very clear. You could help you at the very beginning to maybe do what you did at the end. I liked your ending, but your ending could have gone at the beginning. Who am I? Who are you? Welcome. I like the graphics. I like the charts. They're very, very clear. Okay, now as we're watching here, I think you'll see we begin to, we can listen to each point, we can understand each point, but it begins to get a little bit too much information. Okay, we went from total worldwide sales, that was to worldwide sales, to operating income. These are good points. They're very good points. The problem is, as you transition, we don't understand so. So in between, you want to do things like saying, now I want to show you the worldwide situation, blah, blah, blah. Next, I want to show you the net income because the net income is really important to our bottom line. So, because our limit is five minutes, you would, you would have less information, but the information would have more, like, points. See what I'm saying? Like, main points. And you have to find, you have to feel excited about it. So, in this case, Marie's quite good. She's quite a smooth presenter. She's very, very smooth. But the information is too much, and each one could have, like, a bigger point.
especially like how Marie's uh, English language use of the it's up it's up it's going up it's getting better it's very positive Do you hear that? Down. As for the Down. results in North America, our net sales were up by 26%, while for our operating income in North America, we, we managed to increase our operating income by 31% in total. Our TCM net sales, therefore, is, is totaling to the amount of 36.8 billion US dollars. For the segment results for the international division, our net sales were up by 16% and up to 21% if F over F is adjusted. Okay, but now watch Marie's body language. She does a lot of body language and I really like what she did. Hands, movement, eye contact. The problem is your information is just so much. It's really hard for you to... I think it's hard for you to do so many things at once. Don't you feel you're kind of like, like a robot, you know? You gotta do this, you gotta, I can feel you thinking, like, I should move now. Okay, I should talk now. I should tell this number here. So there's so many things happening in this presentation. So I think we need to have a, a few parts, maybe, maybe three times where you do something bigger. Like you just stop and maybe move over, say, this is really important. Our revenue is way up this year. And then go back to the facts. I, I thought a good chance was the digital downloads because it's so different. You could have said, now let me tell you something really different. The digital download growth is how much? I don't know how you remember all that. <laughs> it's amazing. Huh? When I was listening to him, I, huh? Wow. It's amazing. Okay, so here's, here's I like. You see how the tempo change? All of a sudden she slow down, emphasize, make a very clear point, right? See, just a minute ago she was going and then slow down. So I like that. That's really quite good. Well done. So I think the key is to do that kind of thing maybe two or three times in your presentation. So you... you Give some information, then you slow down, stop, make a, some point or do something different, then begin again, then stop, then begin again. I would like to thank you for viewing this show tonight. My name is Marie, and I'm today's Amazon reporter. Thank you very much. And I hope you tune in next time for the next edition of What's the Latest? You're in Amazon. What's the latest? Okay, like a TV show, right? <laughs> okay, so... Um, a really good example of uh, keeping up the tempo, lots and lots of information, which was done really, really quite well. The ending could have been at the beginning, actually. When you, you, I think this would have been good. You begin a little bit slow, and then blah, 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 and then make a big point, okay? One thing we didn't see in here that I want to show you later is this idea, I don't think anyone really did this, is that you stop your presentation and then you say something else. I'm going to show you some example today about that. That really helps us. Okay. So. OK. 
Okay, here's a little bit of my written, it's the same thing I just said, a little bit of my written feedback for you. Let me grab another video here. Okay, that was Amazon. Okay, now we're going to look at Apple. Let me write Amazon on here. Okay, I like your uh, beginning, and you say what your mission is, but I'm not really sure the mission mm, didn't really help us to understand what's the point of the presentation, right? So I felt when I was watching your presentation, it felt a lot like you were just reading some points from the, from the annual report. But you need to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more like right now. Why should you watch me right now? Right now. If you talk about the company's mission, it seems so far away, right? So uh, a good job, and I especially like, wait one second, the next slide we're going to see, I really like that. Watch that. First, this slide here. We our broadcast. I like that. We changed our company name from Apple Computer Inc. to Apple Inc. So these are easy to follow Second, points. Right? You probably should make them bigger. <laughs> like three times bigger would be good. Third, we sell different products with sense of beauty. Okay, we now here, here is the very beginning of the presentation with the main points. They have three, three main points. I like the main points, they're pretty clear, but you make it seem a little bit too okay, well not exciting, right? So here is where you should have been more excited. Good evening, everyone. We are the CFO now we begin the facts. This is Amber and Kevin. In our presentation, we will have two main points, the environment challenges and financial indicators. First, we face a challenging environment. The market are highly competitive and our company confronted by aggressive competition in all areas of our business. Although the market are rapid product introduction and frequent technological advances. Even if we face the challenging environment, we still have capability to compete. Because we invested a lot of money in research and development. As you can see, in 2012, we involved 3.4 billion and we still invest a lot of money in R&D. Okay, so the, the question here would be, when I'm watching you and you talk about the investments, uh, 3.2 wow. billion dollars, isn't that what you said? Three, I think that for the audience, we want to know, is that important? Is that big? Is that small? What do you mean? Right? So. It's right in here, you could be making points like, like this. You say, this last year, our... I'll pause it here. Let me pause this. And, I can talk. and in this chart, you also clearly see that iPhone and related... Pro pause that. Right here, we could say 3.2 billion. You would stop and say, this year, we invested 3.2 billion U.S. dollars in R&D. Do you know that that is bigger than blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah? Do you know how big that is? It's huge! <laughs> and then you come back, you see? Because, remember, the goal of this short presentation is not for me to remember all these facts, but for you to take maybe just one or two or three big ones and push it into my brain, right? But here you're so just... Da, 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 it's, it's kind of just another fact, not that, not that uh, exciting. Product and service bring our company 51% net sales to our company. That's right, Kevin. 
Now, please pay attention. Next time we will talk about two important financial indicators. First is EPS. You can see from 2010 to 12, it's a large growth. Overall, the highlight is 2000. Now, here I actually like their presentation two, style. The overall, the overall, the highlight is that it's growth six times. Six times. Next overall chart, growth. You can see only 2008 is strong because that cut across the financial tsunami. Tsunami. But tsunami. you can see 2010 to 2011 to 2012, that is growth 189 billion. Seeing the emphasis? 89. That's good. And That's well done the end, there. I want to give you some conclusion in our financial indicators about stock. EPS, okay, now we're coming up to the conclusion. I like the body language, I like the emphasis, the but again, your, your you know I mean? tempo is just not change enough. Just like da 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 I believe you have a more comprehensive idea of our company. I know some of you may still worry about what our company, our financial report. But as you can see the figure, Apple is the best investing target in this year. So join us right now. <laughs> Okay, so, whoops, I don't want to start again, do I? Okay, so in, in this case, I think much more improvement over last time. I like the style. The slides are quite good, but the beginning is a little bit too slow and not, doesn't have a very clear point. Also, during the presentation, sometimes you have the transition, like the ending was a good example. You said, here comes the ending. You kind of tell us it's coming, but... You don't make it very clear, you see. So you need to kind of pause and do something different. Change your position, uh, change your tone, change your speed to help us see the end is coming. We're transitioning. Okay. So at the beginning, you had those three points, right? At the beginning, there were three points. One of the, w the first point was changing your name. But in the presentation, did you talk about changing the name? Is, wasn't that one of the three main points? Let me see. Here. Here. Right? So, these are three key points. Doesn't it say three key points, right? Three key points, yeah? So, if these are the key points, the first one was, what's the first one? Broaden our blueprint. Right, and you said because you, and you did that by changing your name, right? So, was that it? Uh, because it's original is Apple computer. Right. So, they think they can only develop computer products. Yes. So, they changed their name to Apple Inc. So, they can develop like iPad, iPhone other products. Right. I follow. <laughs> <laughs> but in the presentation, it didn't, uh, didn't really seem to be an important thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Actually, they changed their name just because legal reasons, just to get it over with, and because they don't, really they don't want to focus on that anymore. But so what? I mean, it didn't really make the point. So what? I mean, you change the name for a reason. So what was the reason? It didn't seem very exciting. You know, it didn't make the point. What was the second one there? Inspire everyone. S huh? Inspire everyone. Inspire, okay. But then in the presentation, you didn't really make me feel any inspire. Right? And what was the third point there? Uh, sell our product with sense of beauty. Sense of beauty. Uh, you kind of did that. When you showed the phone and saying it's kind of a little bit like that, but still, so I think I'm not saying I'm not saying it, it was bad. What I'm saying is, 
these were your points, but then you didn't really make the points. Because that point's not the financial report's key point. <clears throat> the financial key point is um, the environment and the financial... I heard that. Yes. Right. That is just... The, the environment's competitive. I heard you say the environment's competitive. But then, why? I didn't really take it away. I didn't really... You know what I'm saying? It's like, I heard you say it, but then... Because the market is uh, frequent, frequent product introduction and, right. and the rapid technological advances. True. Yes. <coughs> so the environment is, is right. Tough. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> so how does that make me feel? A main idea, you know, right? <coughs> In fact, if you make the point very clear that the comp the market is highly competitive, I would not want to invest. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so. <coughs> The main point would be more along the lines of the revenue and the sales and the market uh, share, market share, right? So you, I understand your points and everything you say I understand, but I need to think about it myself. It wasn't really in the presentation for you leading me, so what's, the, what's, what's that exciting main point, right? So this is not an easy thing to do. I'm not saying it's easy. It's very hard, especially on financial report, because you open up the financial report, you read it, and you say, this is a fact, this is a fact, this is a fact, this is a fact. But when you make a presentation, you can't be like reading it. You have to be, tell me what is the main point you want me to walk away with. When, I, when you're done talking in five minutes, what should be inside my, inside my brain, right? And so you were missing that a little bit. And what was our time there? I think you guys were pretty much on time, right? You had a little bit of time at the beginning, so just about five minutes. Okay, good on that. Okay, your English is pretty good. I like your organization, and you can use some more. More needed on relevance. Okay. This needs some help here. And transitions. I think you can look at uh, Maria's uh, presentation and help you with the transitions. Right? Like, and then next. After that, uh, and then some more. Okay. Your manner was quite good, and body language can be more interesting there, too. And your visual aids were quite clear, but could be cut down a little bit. Okay. All right, who's next on our list here? Is this one Netflix? <laughs> you may begin when you are ready. Netflix. Okay, I think right there was my point. So at the very beginning, I think it's kind of okay, but it's not really a main point. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying it's easy, finance is hard. What if you had to do like accounting, it'd be even harder. 
right? But someday when you have to go do a presentation for your company, they don't give you easy topics. Sometimes you have to try to sell a product that's no good. What are you going to do, right? So this is normal. You have to try to make something that's not exciting, exciting. And that's not easy, right? So, but the main point is the most important part. So right here at the very beginning, I think uh, you both started out very strong. The English was, was, was clear, easy to understand. Now later, Bo, I think you got tired and it just got hard to understand you. But at the beginning it was clear, but it wasn't any really good main point, right? Last week your main point was much better because you came right out and said, you know, do you want to watch it at any time, anywhere? And that was like in my brain, right? So you needed something like that to get it started, I think. I like that. Hold your questions to the end. That's nice and clear. Very good. I like that actually. Maybe you should have put that at the very, very beginning. Good slides. Now right here, I think, you start to get a little bit harder for you. Start from year 2012 to the first quarter of 2013, we can see that for the majority of the member, it belongs to the theme of domestic. And however, the member of the DVD rental was decreased. But you are, don't worry, because next slide I will show you the revenue of this big company. Whether the domestic of the video later was decreased, but both of steaming service. Okay, so I think here you're just trying to say too much. Service. It's too much. The slides are okay. They can be clear, but I think you need to you need to like you need to get more excited about it and say, look, you see this line here. This line is something. This is how we make our money right here. Right. Okay, Bo actually had good uh, transitions. You use a lot of transitions, next, and, but the problem is when you're talking, you're always talking the same pace, and then you say next, and nobody knows it's next, you, you see? So you need to like slow down and speed up to keep people interested. So you say, and, then, next, you see, like that, like cut it off. That will help you, help you a lot more. And then we have the transition here. So let's jump over. I'm Joanna. Talk about our talking about our long-term strategy. First, we should know where are we. Over the coming decades and over the coming decades and across the world, internet TV will replace minor TV. Of course, the internet will get faster and faster, more reliable and more available. Therefore, tablets and smartphones user will will increase. So, the tablets and smartphone will be will will see. Be actually, that's a good a good use of that too. So, TV. that's well done. So, so. <laughs> I think it's very good. It's good. It helps the audience to follow you, and you stop and, and make it clear. Just like the races of smartphone. Now here I thought your points were very good, but 
at, you begin to slow down so much, and I think you're trying to think of what to say. Yes, exactly. And so what happens is, as the audience, we begin to, like, what is she talking about? We begin to lose the contact, right? So you started strong, and then you lost, you lost your energy there. How we bring together, we have two areas. The first area is improving our service. Netflix spent 315 million per year to enhance our audio video quality and to reduce buffering. Moreover, the user's homepage of Netflix is personalized ranking of what we think that is the most re relevant for specific user. The other area is international marketing. As a well-known, as a globally well-known, he was a good chance. Netflix the the other area is international marketing, and you, but you didn't have any transition. So you could have said something, and this is key, or the most important part, or the highest growth area. Let me show you the exciting part next. International. In summer, we know that people love TV shows and movies. We love being a most possible place for you to enjoy them. So, for more investor info, investor relationships information, uh, both where could we get it? I can join up. I'm back. I actually like that. I like you come you together and work together. I think it's quite, quite good. In, in our website, you can go to your website, worldwide.net. I think one problem everybody has is the, is the slides here. So let me give you some idea. On, on the slides here, you know, we only have this. I think everybody's trying to fit into this little tiny space. <laughs> But you don't have to, you, because the idea is you don't have many slides. You, you just have a few slides that focus on your main point. And some of your slides can stay there for a while. So after you show your slide, you can walk in front of it and come back. You don't have to have this be empty all the time, you see? And that's a good chance. So for example, just now, Joanna, you could have said, you could have talked about the international. You could, have, you could have walked over here and said, now I want to talk about international. This is our highest growth opportunity. In America, our market, is, our market share is already something, something. And then you say, and in overseas, it's very low. We have great opportunity overseas. Then you walk back, change the slide. You see? So by walking back and forth, you have more body language rather than you're just in here. I feel like you know, feel like you're stuck. You don't want to move. It's OK to move around. I especially like the M where you work together. I kind of feel if you can uh, cooperate together, it gets, makes it more interesting. Website, it shows the stock code and chart. You can go back to the previous information up to now. Success is in your head. Come to join our company and we can go together. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of tension. Uh, okay. All right, so I think that's actually a very good input. Now let's jump over to, which one is this? Is this Sands? Okay. Okay, now, I have to, s first of all, I have to apologize. I messed up your slides. <laughs> it's my fault. You were moving the slides and you were making me so nervous. I was, I was, I was, I was watching you and I, then I forgot the slide and I tried to push the slide. So, um, yeah, the slides are not exactly right. That's my fault. But anyway, let's watch and see what happens on this presentation. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, if you need to go out for a break, just go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard to, to Las Vegas Sands Investment Invitation. I'm today's presenter, Celia. I like the beginning. I like to uh, yeah, introduce I'm yourself. I'm going to tell you why you have to invest our company. And secondly, we, we have invited Professor Song to prove us our idea why, why you have to invest our company using some data from finance report. From finance report. 
Okay, now, I actually like the beginning. That's why I was, I thought, oh, strong beginning. Very clear. I'm going to tell you why you should invest in our company. Okay? It would be even better at the beginning if you say, I'm going to tell you why, and then just tell me why. <laughs> right? Just tell me now. All right? So, for example, like, like Netflix, I think you'd say, Netflix, I'm going to tell you why you should invest. And the main reason is because of international growth opportunity. And then you explain it. So here, I like the beginning, but it's a little bit of a mystery why. But it was good. Then you talked about, and then we're going to bring some, that got confusing. It's like too much, too much. So you didn't even need to say that because if, if he's going to talk, what's he going to talk about? Why you should invest. So it's the same point. Right? It's not something different. It's not number two points. Same thing. So now you begin talking more, and then there's a, what, what was the main point? I forgot already. <laughs> you see? So focus on just one big point. First of all, we have, there are three reasons. First of all, I like that. We are global leaders in the integrated resource development. And we are, in, we are one of the Fortune 500 in the, in the world. And we are the first in the resource industry. And secondly, we have strong cash flow, and we are earning every quarter, and we have earned, and our money is coming so in, uh, increasingly. Uh, one remarkable, one remarkable record is that uh, we have in 2004 we have opened Foundation Macau, it Foundation Macau, and it costs us 240 million dollars. Now here, I think, was actually a good opportunity. Here you're talking about one specific example. I like it. But you need to change your body language or change your position or change your tone to make us all know, oh, and we have a really successful example, this example. So I like the example, but your tempo and body language doesn't match. Okay, in this yeah, table you can see I like the slide, I like the yeah, introduction to the slide. Yeah, about 10% at least in the past years, comparing the first quarter of 2012 and the first quarter of 2013. Now so here's actually good information. Your tone is, is good. You're, you're confident. The problem is everyone's the same. Then here, this, here's good. That's quite a large amount. But you could have more. That's quite a large amount. <laughs> and here you said, here's something I think you should pay attention to. I like that too. But you could have said, and here's something that's really I think you're going to pay attention to. Now here you just start to slow down. Right? You're getting confused. Every presentation is the same, you know, you begin to run out of energy, right? So, it's a good opportunity. You see, now actually this interaction is interesting. That was one of the yes. one one problem there. I think the same thing happened to you last week, didn't it? It's very short. No. Seemed a little bit short. 
Uh, why so short? I'm just very tired. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> not that, not that, no. <laughs> no, we are afraid to over time. So over we, time. Yeah, we just made some main points and okay. shut down. Like, I never think a presentation can be too short. It's okay. I just wonder why you don't use up all the time you have because there's so much information, right? But that's okay. Sh shorter is always better. But then if it's too short, like, huh? What happened? <laughs> right? So it's okay. It wasn't bad. I don't think it was too it wasn't too short. Just wonder why. So I think that I like your interaction. You guys work well together. I think you need to get a little bit more body language. And what's the why why in the end did you slow down so much? Did you feel nervous or <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Alan, right? What happened? Yeah, you see? Right, that's what happens. You forget, right? So that's one of the key points to getting ready for your presentation, that if you forget, you're so familiar, you're just able to say something to keep going, right? And that's why in the presentation, I want everyone to reduce your topics. You've got too many things, too many. You need to have fewer words, blah, 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 and more connectors and emphasizers. And next, I want to show you something I really like. Right? This is something you'll really enjoy. This is something every investor wants. You see, nobody's talking that way. You all are like reading from the annual report. Right? This quarter they did this and we did this and we sold this and we had this EPS. Right? But what the audience wants to know is, what's the main point? Just send me the main point. And so reduce your topics, reduce your topics, and then use more emphasizers, body language, connectors, take a little bit more of a pause, walk here and there, and then make it more personal, right? Okay, what we'll do now is we'll, we're not finished with all of them yet, but we'll take a break. I was running a little bit late. So let's take a fast break, and then we'll come back and finish these up.